Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome back to the Living the Life Show. I'm your host, Columbus Cody, and I'm so glad you chose to join me today for the verse of the day. Now, today's verse of the day is probably the greatest promise ever given, and I'll tell you why in a moment. So after you finish, now, after you finish watching this video, I want you to do me a favor, okay? Normally, Monday through Friday, I make the verse of the day videos for you all to encourage you on your journey with the Lord, but because Friday is Christmas, you get to decide, do I make a verse that day? So after you watch, after you share, after you subscribe, after you click the bell, I want you to write in the comments below, yes, if you would like me to make a video for you on Friday morning, or no, if you want me to take that day off and spend it with my family. Either way, I don't mind because I love spending this time making these videos to encourage you in your journey. So if you want that video, if you're like a lot of people who email me and say, hey, I need that verse of the day. It's how I start my day. I'm here for you. Put a yes in the comments. If you're like, you know what? You need a break. You need a day off go and enjoy it with your family i know it may not take you long to make the video but i still want you to have that day then put a no in the comments so yes please make the video no take the day off and enjoy yourself all right so let's get to the verse of the day today's verse of the day comes from matthew chapter 1 verse 21 and again the greatest promise ever given and this is what it says and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. Greatest promise because it brings forth the greatest gift. And Jesus Christ is the greatest gift that we could ever receive. And here's the cool thing. You do not have to wait for Christmas morning to unwrap this gift. In fact, I highly recommend that if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that you will accept this gift today. The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. There is no guarantee that we'll see Christmas morning. There is no guarantee that we'll see tomorrow. So today's a great day. In fact, right now is a great time for you to ask Jesus into your heart, for you to thank the Lord for the, the wonderful promise and the wonderful gift and receive Jesus today. And it doesn't take much. Open your mouth and say, I want you in my life, Jesus. I believe that you are the son of God. Because in today's verse, what has happened is the angel of the Lord appears to Joseph, who is Jesus's earthly father. And he tells Joseph because Joseph was about to end the engagement with Mary. Joseph and Mary, Mary's Jesus's mother. Joseph is engaged to Mary. The angel of the Lord shows up to Mary and tells Mary, you're going to have a child. Now, Mary says, I know I'm a young lady and I don't know everything. But in order for me to have a baby, a man and a woman have to come together. I have never been with a man. That can't be. And the angel explains to her that God has a plan, a great plan for her, that she was blessed and highly favored and that the, the Holy Spirit would come upon her and then she would conceive and give birth to a child. And then she says, do as do unto me as you see fit. Whatever you say, Lord, I am your will vessel. All right. Lesson of the day. Always respond like Mary. Do Lord do unto me as you see fit. OK. Lesson number two. OK. Now, here's the thing. She's pregnant now. She's engaged to marry Joseph. Joseph knows she's pregnant. Joseph knows that's not my baby. I'm going to have to end this engagement. There's no way I can marry a woman that's gotten pregnant by somebody else. I'm going to have to end this marriage. I'm going to have to end this wedding. And so he's going to put her away privately, the Bible says privately. He's, he's a decent guy. He's not going to just blatantly in the public eye put Mary down. So he's going to end the engagement privately. And the angel shows up to Joseph. And the angel tells Joseph, please don't do this. Don't put her away. The baby that she's carrying is, is the Lord's child. It is. And here's the funny thing. A lot of people will watch this video, make fun, make comments because they don't believe that the virgin in the virgin birth. OK, it requires faith. I'm not going to sit here and act like it doesn't. It requires faith. You can't explain that, but you can't explain a lot of things. You can't explain why the wind blows this way and you can't see it, but it goes somewhere and then it comes again. You can't explain that. Right. We will believe the craziest things that someone told us, but we can't believe what the Lord tells us. It requires faith. OK, so the angel shows up to Joseph and he explains to him that um, she's carrying the Lord's baby. And I ask you to not put her away. Don't end the engagement. Lesson number two. 
Blessings come after obedience. Imagine how blessed it was for Joseph to be around and watch the baby Jesus grow up. To be around and to be to be engulfed with the presence of God daily. Had he put her away, he would have forfeited that opportunity to be around the Lord in that magnitude every single day until Joseph's life was over. Now, to me, that would have been worth the trade of people going, hey, man, I don't think that's Joseph's baby. You know, all the little back talk in the corners. Who cares what they say? You are now walking and embracing and holding the hand of God. Even when you held, you know, he walked down the street with Jesus' hand in his hand. He's holding Je the Lord's hand. He's holding God's hand. How much more awesome could it be? So, again, lesson number two. Obedience. Blessings come after obedience. OK, so whatever God tells you to do, even if it's difficult, even if it's hard, even if it's far fetched, even if it's illogical in your mind, obey him, because if you obey him, then you will walk in the fullness of his blessing. OK, now, again, before you leave me, make sure you like, subscribe, share the video. Don't forget to click the bell. But whatever you do, leave me a comment so I know do I make a video Friday or do I kick back? Watch my kids open their gifts, drink some hot cocoa, or whatever else we're going to do that morning. But you get to decide. All right? I love you guys. I pray that today's verse will encourage you to obey the Lord, to let the Lord have his way in your life. And then if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I pray that you will spend a moment and just seek his face. Ask him into your heart today. All right? Watch it, share it, and live it. Now let's get busy living the life.